Welcome back. In this video, let's discuss three more points related to event handling in Vue. The first point is about the shorthand syntax. As you might have already guessed, binding to events is pretty common in web applications, which is why Vue provides a shorthand syntax, which is the at symbol. So instead of having to specify v on followed by a colon every single time, you can specify the at symbol to bind to events. So if you replace v hyphen on followed by colon with an at symbol, save the file and take a look at the browser, our code still works as expected. The second point is about the event object. At the moment, we have the change name button where we have the event handler logic in line. Let's move it into a method. So create a new method called change name and within the body set this dot name is equal to Batman. Back in the template, assign the method instead of the inline expression. I'll also change mouse over to click. If we save the file, head to the browser, click on the change name button, Vishwas changes to Batman. So our event handler works as expected. Sometimes you might want to access the event object which gives more information about the event itself. Well, luckily for us, view automatically passes the event object as an argument to your event handler. So in the change name method, we can specify a parameter called event and let's simply log it to the console. Event, comma, event. If you now go back to the browser, click on change name, you can see that the event object is logged to the console. This gives us a lot of information about the event itself. It's a mouse event, gives us the coordinates of the click event on the screen, tells us that the target is a button element and the type of mouse event is a click event. This event object is exactly what you would find with pure JavaScript and is nothing specific to view but definitely comes in handy when dealing with form inputs. Now what we do have to note here though is that the event object is automatically passed in if you don't specify any arguments. In our counter example, we pass in 1 and 5 as arguments to the increment and decrement methods. In this scenario, view does not automatically inject the event object as an argument. If you would like to access it in your method, you need to pass in a special variable called $event. Let me show that to you. On the increment1 method, I'm going to add a second argument in the template. This is a special variable called $event. Now in the method, we can specify the second parameter as event and log it to the console. If you now save the file, go back to the browser, click on the increment 1 button, you can see that the event object is logged to the console. Of course, we are simply logging the value to inspect the event object, but you can make use of it depending on your requirement. So that is the second point, which is about the event object. The third and final point I want to discuss is multiple event handlers. Occasionally, you might want to run multiple methods when an event is fired. With Vue, that is really simple. You can specify a comma separated list of methods to the VON directive. For example, on click of the change name button, let's say in addition to changing name, we also want to increment the count value by 1. All we have to do is add a comma followed by the increment method. 
increment one comma dollar event. But what does change now though is that view will not automatically inject the dollar event variable to the change name method. We have to do that ourselves. So on change name, specify parentheses and the dollar event variable. If you now save the file and head back to the browser, you can see that initially name is Vishwas and count is zero. I click on change name and Vishwas changes to Batman and count increments to one. We also have the event object logged from both the methods. Alright, the shorthand syntax, the event object and multiple event handlers. Those were the three points I wanted to discuss in this video. So that is pretty much about event handling in Vue. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.